If you are not a photon, you cannot travel at the speed of light. Einstein's law of relativity sets the speed limit for the universe. No object has broken it. Why? You are about to find out. What is a photon anyway, and why does it get speeding privileges? Photons are the subatomic particles that make up light. The term photon literally means light in Greek. Albert Einstein came up with the concept of photons in 1905 when he was explaining how the photoelectric effect works. Photons do not have any mass. They cannot be split, but they can be created and destroyed. Because of its properties, photons are able to move at the speed of light without experiencing an increase in mass. This is what stops everyone and everything else that attempts to reach that speed. An increase in mass does not stop. It keeps growing till infinity. To keep moving, an object would require an equal source of energy or fuel. That is one thing we do not have right now. But scientists are hoping to find harness one in a couple of years. In a vacuum, the speed of light is 299,792,458 meters a second. That is just a few figures short of 300 million meters per second. If you move at this speed, you would be able to get to Mars in about 3.03 minutes. You could escape falling into a black hole if you move that fast. Yet, it is said nothing can escape a black hole, but that is only because nothing can move at the speed of light. But just thinking about the endless possibilities that could occur with a superpower like that. While we do not know that objects cannot move this fast, it does not stop us from asking, what would happen to mankind if something in space did attain the velocity of the speed of light and was headed straight for Earth? Every day, the Earth gets bombarded by space debris. Meteorites are the word used to describe all the objects that come into our atmosphere from space. Any object from space that is larger than interplanetary dust and is less than an asteroid. They are a beautiful sight at night and sometimes we wish on them in blissful ignorance. They are mostly harmless and scare one or two people once in a while. But there is a chance shooting stars could turn deadly if they gather enough speed. Most of the stuff that falls from space into the Earth does not even get far. This is because of our planet's atmosphere. When meteorites are traveling down here, they are gliding through space. It is smooth sailing and requires very little energy. But when they make contact with the atmosphere, which has air, things go south. The air in front of the meteorites compress at a high speed. This heat is so much to a point that it glows. As this is happening, it is being burnt up until it disappears. That is a very sad way to go. This happens to small meteorites traveling at tens of thousands of miles per hour. What happens when it is a small object, like a needle traveling through space, but at the speed of light? A needle counts as a meteorite. Remember, a meteorite is used to describe anything larger than interplanetary dust and smaller than asteroids. Normally, an object that small would come and go without as much as a bat of an eyelid from anyone on Earth. But speed changes everything. A needle traveling at a speed could cause catastrophic damage to our planet. Traveling at the speed of light, a needle from space will hit the Earth with the kinetic energy of the Moon in orbit. A gaping hole will be made on the surface of the Earth, melting it completely. It will be moving so fast that humans will not notice when it penetrates the Earth and goes into the Earth's crust. Within the Earth's crust, radiation accompanied by an ever-increasing cloud of plasma will emerge through the gaping hole made by the impact. In a few seconds, a cloud of glowing dust formed by the impact will start expanding in the outward direction. It will be a picture of sheer horror as the needle and particles that it descended with spreads to the sides of the Earth. The brightness of the sun will be nothing compared to the light Earth will give up from the excess heat created by the impact of the needle. The Earth will explode into a cloud of plasma that will keep expanding. It will move out of orbit seconds before this, but no one will be there to take note as all life on the planet will be coming to an end. The destruction of the Earth will affect the surfaces of the other planets with a shockwave of pure plasma of stupefying proportions. The Earth will not go quietly, as the Sun will be blocked out by the dust waves that will engulf it completely. This is what will most likely take place if a needle traveling at the speed of light strikes the Earth. Hopefully, Einstein's law of relativity will never be broken, and we will never find out if this is true. For now, it is safe for you to keep on wishing on shooting stars at night. I hope you learned something new today. If you still have some questions left, let us know in the comments section below.